Hey guys, thanks for joining me for another Dokkan Battle video, and today we have got some fire units to show you guys today. Um, I'm really excited to do a showcase on these free-to-play Dragon Ball units. Dude, they're not going to go to the park with these units, and they are insane. They're really, really good, right? So we're going to do a dual showcase here just because I'm going to use them on the same team for their showcases anyway, so I might as well just do them at the same time. So we're going to look at this Tech Bulma and then the STR uh, Yamcha. Um, I'm telling you guys, this Dragon Ball Saga team now is actually legit. It is, like, really good. I'm just, like, gushing on this team. I was already a big Dragon Ball Saga fan, and it's just crazy that, like, within one celebration, they've actually made it, like, a very legit team. We've got a trio of free-to-play units on this team that you can take into any red zone stage almost and, like, get through with them. Like, they're, they're very, very good. Um, and I just want to show off how good these units are on my favorite team, and this particular team build is going to be probably my favorite Dragon Ball Saga team build. I want to do like a big like tour of showcases going through a lot of red zone fights with this team. I think it's going to be really good. So let's start by looking at Tech Bulma. She's a very interesting character and I think she is going to be very good. We're going to look at her passive and she is almost like she's kind of like a clone of another very good popular character. And we'll see if you guys can figure it out as I go through her kit. Uh, but we'll talk about it at the end. But let's look at her here. So she's just a free-to-play Peppy Gals lead. That's nothing you're ever going to use there, except for maybe like uh, easy areas or something, right? Um, but her super attack is she raises defense for one turn. She does supreme chance and has a high chance to stun. So defense on super is good. And then stunning is good for like super battle rope. And then her passive... Attack and defense 177, randomly changes key spheres of a certain type to rainbow key spheres, recovers HP, plus an additional 77% attack per rainbow key sphere, and a great chance of reducing damage by 77%. So let's look at the key parts of her kit and see if you can figure out who this girl, who I'm going to compare this girl to, okay? So she has orb changing, <laughs> she has uh, attack per rainbow key sphere, um, and she has 77% damage direction. Does that sound familiar to a very good unit that people use? Uh, she's basically, I'm going to tell you all right now, she's basically Tech God Goku is what she is. She's a different version of Tech God Goku. So these are things that they share in common, right? Tech God Goku, orb changes, gets attack on rainbow orb, and 77% damage reduction. Now, they both have conditional damage reduction in their different, in different ways, right? God Goku just, he always has it, but you have to be against a pure saint or a movie boss. So there's some fights where you just can't use God Goku, right? This Bulma, you can use her in any fight, but she has a 70% chance of getting the damage reduction. Now, the part I don't like about Bulma's damage reduction is that you don't know when you have it or not until you actually get hit. That's the bummer. Um, the good part about it, potentially, and this is what I've heard. I'm, I might have to confirm this or somebody can confirm it in the comments for me. Um, but what I heard is is her damage reduction has a chance to proc on every hit. Um, I originally thought it would be like you either have it for the turn or you don't have it for the turn, like the units have like a chance to guard. But apparently this would be like every time she gets hit, she has a chance for that reduction. So the way I see her is she's pretty much like running AGL UI Goku, right? 70% chance to dodge is what he's got. Well, this is basically 77% chance to not die because 77% damage reduction, as we've seen with Tech God Goku, is enough to survive any red zone hit pretty much. Like you're going to survive that. And her defense, while her defense isn't going to be like jump off the pages like the best ever you pair that with the 77 percent damage direction she's crazy and she does get a lot of healing if you get a few rainbow orbs like she's gonna be able to heal up some good hp right so that's tech bulma and i i built her full dodge build and i feel like that's the way people should build her you're gonna see her damage isn't insane she's there mostly for the orb changing and the defensive tech um, but i got 30 dodge on mine so <laughs> and the lonely one additional so if she gets an additional boy that was a two percent chance that we hit that um, then the other unit we're going to look at, dude, this S-tier Yamcha, not only like probably my favorite free-to-play unit in the game, but just might be overall one of my favorite units in the game. Um, as you guys know, I'm a big fan of Dragon Ball Saga, and this Yamcha, like this is a badass Yamcha. Like this is the one time in Yamcha's basically life where he was like a serious threat character, like a top tier like fighter in, in the Dragon Ball universe. Like this is when Yamcha is like a badass. And this is, I love this Yamcha, right? Um, one of my favorite Yamcha cards in the game is the World Tournament LR Yamcha. So I'm hoping that when they EZA him, they do him really well. Because that's going to be another really nice addition to this team. Um, but this Yamcha, boy, man, they did this guy well. We're going to show him off really well here. Uh, he's a free-to-play Dragon Ball Saga leader. And then his super attack effect, he greatly raises attack for one turn and does supreme damage. Now, I watched True Showcase. 
And Truth is always upset when they don't give him defense on Super. And I get that. Getting defense on Super is good. But I think with Yamcha, it doesn't bother me because they compensated for it in his passive. Because when we read his passive, he gets attack and defense 150. And then he gets attack and defense 120 on Super. So I think what they did was they said, yeah, we just want to give him that big attack raise on Super there. And we're just going to give him, you know, the defense in his passive. And Yamcha's numbers, they get good enough. Like, the, you're going to see, like, his defense, his attack stats. It, he's... Like, when you watch this Yamcha in action, he seems like a summonable unit. Like, he feels like he'd be, like, a really good banner unit on, like, Physical Kid Goku's banner. Like, that's what he feels like. Like, if they had put AGL Hotshot and then this Yamcha as is, like, I feel like that could have been, like, another summonable unit. That's how good this guy is. So the fact that this Bulma and Yamcha I'm going to showcase are free to play is what really blows me away because these are red zone viable units. Like, it's... And we're going to take them into all that. It's crazy. So... He gets the attack and defense 150 at start of turn, and then another 120 on super. And then super class allies get one key and attack and defense 20, as long as you have a Peppy Gales on the team, right? And then he gets an additional defense 150, and starting from the fifth turn, another two key and attack and defense 30% for super class allies. So he's a 50% support for any super class ally after five turns. And then he also gets a guaranteed additional that has a great chance of becoming a super. And then this is the kicker, dude. They just toss this line at the end. This is what puts him over for me. If there's a peppy gal on the same turn, he guaranteed guards. And with the amount of defense he has, guaranteed guard, like, dude, this guy can actually tank now. Because I was just, you guys, if you've watched my channel, I've been using this guy very recently in red zone without his EZA we've been getting through. Yes, he can take a lot of damage, but now he's actually going to be defensive enough. So Yamcha is kind of an interesting build for me, but I did go like kind of a, a big time dodge build on him. So mine's got 22 dodge, but I did want to give him a little additional crit. So I kind of went in. So my Yamcha pre EZA was really like full dodge build. Um, because he needed to dodge to like hang in red zone, but I liked him for his support. And dude, before EZ, this guy was hitting four to five mil attack stats, so he was already pretty solid. Uh, but now, after I saw his damage, I'm like, I gotta give him a little additional in crit. I like his damage, but to me, 22 dodge is still a really nice piece there. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't know. See, I'm just crazy. I got him full level 10 links. Uh, I think the one big complaint I have is that he only has six links. I think it's stupid these days that they even make characters. Like, because this guy just came out in 2022. Like, this is a really quick turnaround for an EZA, but they should not be releasing new characters in 2022, 2023 that don't have seven links. That doesn't make any sense to me. But uh, my Balma is also max link, so we're ready to go. But this team build, guys, this you're get used to seeing this team. I think this is the best Dragon Ball Saga team. Um, I think this is red zone viable, completely legit. You've got Hachan and Kid Goku as a rotation. You run LR Bulma with the other Kid Goku as a rotation. You float Yamcha and the other two Bulmas and you're golden. Like this team, dude, it's like perfect. The only weakness this team has is like they're not going to be as good against like say Red Zone Broly or like uh, stages where you can't dodge. Um, but if you can dodge, uh, that Int Bulma, because I didn't even talk about her. I did a showcase on her earlier. She's already was regarded as one of the best free-to-play units in the game. And so Dragon Ball Saga, dude, it, it, we look at this team and it's like, we've got this Bulma who people are saying is like just not only the best like LR in the game, but like just the best unit in the game, which I agree with that. Hachan's still one of the best banner units in the game. Uh, Kid Goku's still one of, probably still a top 10 best TUR Dokkan Fest in the game, right? And then we just get like these three ridiculous free-to-play units. This team's gonna cook. <laughs> so anyways, let's go here. Um, I, I can see that Yamcha's gonna be floating around. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep Tech Bulma on rotation for a turn. Then we'll float her off when the other Yamcha comes around. But uh, let's just see what Tech Bulma can do here. And I kind of, um, she's only got a couple of links here with Hachan. But she's at 127k defense, which isn't that crazy, right? But she does get defense on super, and she has a chance for all that damage reduction. And this definitely isn't like her best turn. I'm going to try to go weak here with STR Bulma. Oh, although I should have got, I wanted the support, didn't I? I wanted to make sure Tech Bulma gets an attack stat in, but that's fine. We'll just do this. We'll get the support again next turn when it matters. Because um, STR Bulma, we want to keep her on rotation, because uh, we want that support kind of flowing constantly, right? All right, so we'll just let Bulma do her thing. Sure, she's going to get supered. Not a big deal. All right, and what's Tech Bulma going to do here? So 3.2 mil. Now, uh, Tech Bulma's stats are going to fluctuate because she gets attack on rainbow. So if we get more rainbow orbs, that attack is going to shoot up. So we'll try to watch that as we get more. But the thing with that Bulma, she, really her utility is that she can survive damage 
and she orb changes, right? So, and I think going full dodge on her totally makes sense. So here we got a double Kid Goku rotation. We'll just do this. Uh, these Kid Goku should finish off the Vegeta. And then the goal here would be to get a fresh turn for our Yamcha Bulma rotation next turn. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, sure, six orbs there for Goku looks good. Uh, but yeah, with type advantage, I think these Gokus are going to go crazy. The thing I love too about the LR Bulma is she just makes all the other units look so good with that support passive. Like my kid Goku, because he's one of my most used units, he's hitting attack stats I'm not used to seeing because we've got that floating support buff along with the actual units on that rotation. But then Bulma like supporting off rotation is so good. All right, so here we go. Um, we got Yamcha, we got Bulma. So Yamcha getting three links here with S Terra Bulma. I think I'm going to leave the rotation like this because I want to make sure Yamcha gets his attack in. But I got to make sure I get me my orbs with Bulma. So we got a couple of spots there to get the orbs. Um, yeah, I'm worried Bulma would just one-shot this Vegeta. So let's go ahead and have Yamcha grab this. Now let's look at Yamcha's uh, defense. So only 190k defense on the first turn here. But remember... He gets 120% on super. So he's actually after super going to be over 400k defense and he's guaranteed guarding. And this is not his best turn. Um, so once again, we're going to see better turns where his defense gets even crazier, right? And his attack stack will look better. His attack stat will look better than what you see here also later on. Because remember the tech ball on the end, she's not supporting at all. So we have the opportunity to get more support on this Yamcha. And Yamcha after five turns, he won't have his full support yet. So dude, 5.75 mil, which considering this guy's guarding he's supporting right he gets additional supers that's going to come later on we just got to get to turn five and yamcha is going to be looking really crazy and i believe that's already going to hit on his next turn all right so tech balma didn't get an attack in there that's fine she's going to float off i'm going to be honest we're really going to focus more on yamcha here because that balma is pretty simple right you just see like some basic attack stats and you hope that she guards um or she gets her damage reduction but yamcha we want to see these numbers flying all right so i've got this rotation how i want so we'll let Hachan attack through. Uh, Kid Goku, sure, we'll grab that. And then the Int Balma. The one thing with the Int Balma, like you don't really get damage out of her in slot 3, but she still supports and can dodge, and that's really what you want her to do. You could put Int Balma in slot 1, and sure, if you dodge like 4 to 6 times, like she can hit like 9 mil attack stats, which is crazy. But that's a really like risky way to play her, because you're just hoping for the dodges. So I think Int Balma in slot 3 is a great unit. Yeah, she's only going to hit like three mil attack stats in slot three. Uh, but once again, the dodge chance and support, like it's really good, right? See, so yeah, I Int Balma, dude, I, I cannot tell you how much I like this team right now. It's so good. Okay, so this here, uh, let me see. Yamcha's got three links with Goku. And he's got three with Bulma. And if we go in the middle here, he gets four. So I'm going to put him in the middle slot. I want to keep Bulma on rotation. Uh, <laughs> I want to go big with Bulma here. I, I'm going to trust that Bulma does not one-turn this Vegeta. All right, so Bulma's going to get the orbs. We got the support flowing now. Yamcha's going to get his orbs, so let's go ahead and do this. And don't forget, Kid Goku's also adding damage reduction. Now, just keep in mind, normally this rotation for me would be Bulma with the Goku and we'd float the Yamcha, but because we're showcasing, I want to keep Yamcha on rotation. Now, this is the turn I want you guys to see, because when I was running him on my own, this is what I was seeing consistently from this guy. He's at about 250k defense right here. After super, this Yamcha is over 500k defense with guaranteed guard because we got a Bulma around him. Absolutely insane. And then just wait till you see the attack stat. Hopefully Bulma doesn't go too crazy here. I think this Vegeta should live Bulma though. My Bulma, by the way, I did get another copy. I've been summoning off camera. Uh, we got another copy of Bulma. So she's at 69%. I want to get one more before she goes away. Uh, Bulma, please don't crit. I think even if she does crit, I think we're fine. But please don't crit. Oh, so oh, she tripled. Are you kidding me? All right. Well, we'll have to wait another turn to see Yamcha. It's going to be hard because I do want to keep getting the orbs with Bulma. And I wanted to have Yamcha with more links there. But Bulma is too good. <laughs> Bulma's too good. All right. Now we got tech Bulma. So we're going to do this. Um... Yeah, I mean, two links is about what we're going to get with this tech Balma. So we'll put her in slot one, give her a chance to tank a little bit. This is a good spot for her because this Vegeta can do some damage and this is type disadvantage. So we'll get an idea of what her damage reduction looks like. And here's the thing. This team, you're never running out of orbs because we've got uh, so many orb changers. We got two Balmas and two Gokus. We got four characters on this team that are orb changing so like you're never going to be hungry for key here so right here we're going to get four rainbow orbs 
So let's keep in mind that would do a ton of healing with Tech Bulma. And now her attack stats is going to be looking pretty good. Once again, her defense isn't crazy, but this is a 77% damage reduction unit. We just don't know if it's going to proc or not, but 70% is something you can usually count on. All right, 3.6 mil. So once again, her numbers aren't crazy. <laughs> All right, let's see. Do we have damage reduction? We're going to know because we will take damage from this if we don't. Yeah, dude, double digits. 77% damage reduction came through right there for sure. Because type disadvantage, she was eating some damage there for sure. Because she was only what? Maybe around 200k defense or something like that? I'll double check her passive, but I'm pretty sure all she got on her super was her super attack effect defense. I'll double check though. And then Aider, yeah. This Aider, by the way, like, you know, he's he has an attack passive that hasn't proc'd because he has to get hit. But this Aider is even putting up like 5 mil attack stats and he's like a wall. Like he cannot be touched. And I just, yeah, now he's got like 5 mil attack stats after he got hit there. But this Aider just cannot be touched. Even in red zone, he's crazy. All right, let me just take a quick look at that other Bulma. I want to make sure I didn't miss anything on her um, right here. Because I think it's just that defense on turn right there. Uh, yeah, and then, yeah, no more defense anywhere else. It's just the damage reduction, which is fine. For a unit that's going to carry that much damage reduction, I'm fine with that amount of defense, right? Okay, well, Bulma's for sure going to go crazy here. So let's just do Yamcha in slot one. Yamcha at 217k defense, so not quite as good of a turn as the Kid Goku turn, but that's fine. Uh, let's go ahead, and I got to make sure Bulma gets her orbs here. Let's do that. And then, yeah, eight orbs right there for Bulma. Make sure we keep the support. Now, we got Bulma's support up. Now, he's up to 234k defense, right? So, once again, he's going to be in that 500k defense range after Super. And he is guarding because we got these Bulmas hanging around. Okay, and uh, Yamcha, yeah, 7 mil, dude. 7 mil for this Yamcha. Free-to-play unit, guarding, 500 plus K defense, 50% and 3 key support. Are you kidding me? This Yamcha does like everything you want out of a support unit. And he's got the defense to back it now. It's so crazy, dude. It is so crazy how good they made these Dragon Ball units. Because the big complaint I always had about Dragon Ball Saga is they never got like Dokkan Fest, right? Uh, like it was Ink Kid Goku and that was it. And it's because they tied all the Dragon Ball Saga stuff to World Tournament and they're all really bad free-to-play units. Well, dude, if you're going to give us free-to-play units at this level, keep them coming. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah, Dragon Ball Saga is cooking right now. Um, you know, normally I'd keep Bulma in the middle, but we're going to put her in slot one. We got to let, we got to see if the damage reduction comes through. Uh, we know that this Vegeta can definitely do some damage. I'm um, sure we'll go here. Three orbs is what we're getting. Three uh, rainbow orbs, right? So yeah, she has about 200k defense. I mean, she's getting mega supported here too, by the way. Now, the other thing, dude, is like these Kid Goku, these Kid Gokus, if they're popping off their 8% damage reduction on top of her 77, then she's like literally untouchable, kind of like Hachan. All right, let's see. Uh, I kind of hope she eats a super here and we can see if we take it. All right, I did give her dodge. <laughs> so we saw that come through. And then yeah, three and a half mil attacks that. It's about where she's going to be, right? In the three mil range. All right, here we go. Let's see. Are we tanking or not? Did Are we guarding or are we not? Yep, we guarded. So <laughs> we're are not guarding, but I mean uh, damage reduction, right? That's the other thing she has in common with uh, God Goku. Like her attack stats are pretty similar. Like that's what God Goku's hitting, like three to four mil attack stats. Um, I would say she needs probably get four or five orbs to hit like the four mil attack stats. But like, yeah, she's such a parallel to tech God Goku. It's actually kind of crazy. Like similar attack stats. Orb changing, <laughs> the 77% damage reduction. Like, yeah, just it's kind of cool. Uh, so, yeah, that Tech Bulma, I think she's just going to be a really nice floating option. Keep the orbs flowing, and we're good to go. And it's crazy to say, because, like, um, LR Jackie Chun was kind of a mainstay on this team because he has 50% damage reduction. I think he's already kind of phased out because Jackie Chun definitely works better on, like, the Goku or Piccolo team because he actually supports them. Jackie Chun doesn't support any of these units. These aren't World Tournament units. I wish they had made him Dragon Ball Saga support. That would have been crazy. Um, so here we're definitely going to float Aider off because Aider's not getting the craziness without the Goku. Uh, Bulma definitely would be taking out Vegeta, so we're going to let Yamcha sit in slot one. Uh, Yamcha won't be looking as good here because Hachan isn't supporting. We got to get that Kid Goku turn is what we got to get. Uh, yeah, so Yamcha at 220k, but once again, after Super, he's shooting up to over 500k. Uh, he's guarding here either way, even if there wasn't a Bulma around. And then, yep, yeah, 6.3 mil. 
that's without the other support unit. <clears throat> I want to get the really good Yamcha attack stat. I did it off camera. And I know what this boy can do. This boy's crazy. And then, yeah, if you get additionals, he's raising attack on super. So you can uh, build that up a little bit. All right, so right here. Uh, what I'm going to do... Yeah, we got to do this. Float Int Bulma. All right, so we'll put tech... It, dude, we're already up to Evolution Blue Vegeta. I feel like we're just getting started with these guys, right? Uh, this is going to be really good because we're going to put Yamcha in slot 1 against AGL uh, Vegeta here and really show what he can do defensively. Um, so let's tech Bulma. I mean, sure, four rainbow orbs. This should actually be like one of her best attacks. That's sure. We're going to dunk on attack with uh, tech Bulma. Sure, let's do it. What's her defense? 180. Now, we'll definitely notice, even though she's guarding here, like her defense is not strong enough to handle a final flash unless she gets her damage reduction. So hopefully she gets supered. 3.9. So we got her like four mil attack stat. That's about as high as she's going to be sitting. Four mil is about what she can do. For like how old she is, like this is the first ever like uh, fully free rainbow unit they gave us, right? The first unit that had farmable hidden potential. Uh, like she's from 2017 and now she's actually like super good and viable. It's crazy. <clears throat> she came from... um. The first event where they did like a global JP competition and like global loss. So we got the Yamcha card and then JP got the pink shirt Vegeta. I was so jealous of that. Luckily, they made him available. So I do have my pink shirt Vegeta. But uh, yeah, it, it's kind of crazy how old she is. And then, yeah, that's this in Bulma. She's going to be around three mil. Uh, but if she dodges a few times, man, her attack shoots up like crazy. But you, have, you can only get that in slot one, right? Because... <laughs> All right. Oh, she's going to eat the super and she can't dodge. Oh, shoot. We could actually die. I didn't even think about that. 437. All right. All right. Woo. And then luckily healing back from the Dokkan attack. That was actually risky. I didn't even think about Aunt Bulma getting tagged there because she can't dodge here. So, yeah, that's her, you know, weakness, right? But uh, what we're going to do here, <laughs> we're going to do some craziness here. Yamcha is going to be looking good on this turn and we're probably going to end the showcase here. 227. Uh, Yamcha is going to grab some orbs, so we're going to do this. We are then going to Bulma active skill into a full field of STR and a full heal from Bulma. So showing off her dominance here. Bam, full heal. <laughs> Bulma at a mere 754k defense, sure. <laughs> While doing all of her crazy shenanigans. And then Goku, sure, I guess we'll get these five orbs here. Vegeta's defense shoots up to 285, by the way. So now he's looking to be over 600k defense after super. But here's the thing. He's guarding. So I want him to super first. So 8.5 million, you guys. An 8.5 million attack stat for a free-to-play Yamcha. Are you kidding me with this guy? Are you kidding me with this guy? Dude, 9 million we just hit with Yamcha on the additional. 9 million. Super, Vegeta. Just do it. Super for double digits. Ah, oh, he's not going to do it. Dang it. But anyways, dude, 15 mil for this Bulma. Holy cow. Um, Yamcha can tank that, by the way. Type disadvantage, he can 100% tank that. And there you go. Absolutely decimating, dominating with this Dragon Ball Saga team. Uh, Yamcha and Bulma look fantastic to me. I cannot tell you how excited I am for these units. Uh, let me know what you think of these guys. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you all on the next one.